Hello everybody. I am doing more crafts today. Don't mind the hair and lack of makeup. I'm crafting, I've got crafting hair and don't care. I'm doing a welcome mat for the front door. I'm gonna finish the porch today, guys. Trying to decide fonts, it's always so hard. And I have three picked and I literally just did eeny, meeny, miny, mo to be able to pick. I just used the last little bit of that permanent vinyl that I did not really care for. I'm just kind of using a stencil. So I am gonna put you guys down here and I'm gonna try to weed this. I did increase my force. So this is what I need as the stencil. So I really need, hold on, I'm gonna go get the mat first. How, how does one do this? It's already sticking to itself. Oh my, oh my. I'm speechless. How? How do I get this undone? They make it look so easy online. Yeah, you just cut it out, put it on, and paint it. You're right. And that just ripped. Here's the freezer paper. Let's just try this. Wow. <laughs> okay, that didn't work. Oh, hey there. You make it back? <laughs> I survived. I finally got it all weeded out and I have the little inner parts that I'll have to put in. But now I gotta get it straight and I have to use a warm iron to like, it kind of adheres to the fabric so it won't move and give you nice crisp lines. What in the world? He says, I have advice. What's your advice? Please tell me. Don't you have some, I think it's called Mod Podge spray adhesive. You could spray on the back of it and then use a roller to roll it <clears throat> flat so that it's like properly stuck. I don't think I have any of that. Chase thinks we should spray paint it instead of putting, like I still have leftover exterior paint from the door. I did get everything on there. I should probably use like some tacks or pins and pin like the insides and the edges down, but I don't have any of those and I'm tired of going to the store to get things. Well, just do it. You want me to do it? Sure. Blew it away. <laughs> oh. Ready? Yep. Ah. Okay, that's good. Ready? Okay, reveal. Hey, good enough, right? I mean. I won't ever do that again. I will get the sublimation stuff and do that. Hey. Okay, it'd be outside and my Good job. Room, but yeah. <laughs> we got that spray painted, but I got this shelf back here stained and it looks totally different. It looks awesome. Couple little mums for beside the door and I put them in those little white planters. And then I got this rug to put underneath the welcome rug. You're gonna put a rug under a rug? Yeah. It's like uh, a decorative rug. I've never seen that and before. And then you put a welcome rug on top of it. But I'm scared because there's no like grip. Hmm. So you put that there and then you put this on top of it. Right? There you go guys. I got the mat done. The doors are painted. I do still want to do something on the windows there with like some vinyl or something. A little decoration there. I do have twine now to hang that on the door. It's gonna scuff up that brand new paint job. Well, we have more paint. And we just always have a welcome sign on there. So you it should me, come off flawlessly. You let me stick some like felt pads on the back, you got a deal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, now that we got the porch done, we are moving on to a prior project that we started, the, the paint. See, we got to right here as you're going up the stairs. 
but we didn't have proper ladders and stuff. Well, we have a ladder. Um, and I was like, we need to get this done while we have the ladder. So we have that leaned up there, but we still won't be able to reach like the middle. So we have this here and a board going across for makeshift scaffolding. <laughs> Doesn't seem very safe. Well, what's your confidence level on this, babe? About 70. <laughs> There you go, honey. You literally took a piece of that and just created a brace underneath. You about at 80% now? More like 73. 73? <laughs> and look, it looks amazing. It's all done, finally. Finally. Well, we still have to do the hallway and stuff. Just the hallway upstairs, but. We can get that done tomorrow. Here we go, honey. There's no. a nice home cooked meal for you. Man, did you work all day on that? The crock pot did. Oh, no. <laughs> so I made this. Yeah, she made it. On she saw it on TikTok. August 25th. It's the fermented honey garlic. You know what fermented means? Aged. Don't worry about it. Aged. <laughs> you get a spoon, I'll get a spoon. And we'll. <laughs> what kind of spoon you got? It'll be garlic honey bros. <laughs> <laughs> they got yep, garlic baby spoons. Friends. Ready? Eat it. Eat the garlic. No, I know. I know. know. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. This week will establish. Okay. <laughs> oh, whatever. That's a spicy meatball. <laughs> no, it's not. That's. That's all right. <laughs> so what am I cured from now? I don't know. <laughs> you don't even know. <laughs> it's just like a nat natural this is Veronica's ailment natural, for everything. It's Veronica's natural Robitussin. Yep. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna small, grow right? a freaking tail tonight while I sleep. Oh, whatever. <laughs> so that's where I'm gonna leave you guys for tonight. Make sure you always keep your mind in a positive place. What you think about, you bring about. Until next time.